Hey fellow crypto enthusiast, welcome to today's quick trend analysis. Let's jump right into it. In this video you will see in which direction the price of EOS has moved recently. Additionally, you will find out what the technical indicators SMA, Stochastic RSI and MACD are predicting about its price and future movements. If you are not familiar with the indicators, check out the explanation videos down below in the description. If we look at the hourly time frame for EOS, the price went up only slightly with around 0.4% in the last 24 hours, with a current price of 2.69. Looking at the hourly simple moving averages, for this time interval, the current price is above all of the simple moving averages, which looks bullish and you should watch if the closest SMA, the 20 SMA could remain stable or the price will dip below it with the current price of around 2.67. Important to note is that the price is currently above the 200 SMA, which can play as a strong support. However, breaking it decisively to the downside will signal a potential big move down. Moving to the hourly stochastic RSI, both the percent %K and percent %D lines are in the higher region, which means that the price is getting overbought and soon a trend change or at least some kind of consolidation could be expected. However, the K line still hasn't crossed the D line, so you should wait to see if the trend will actually go down. Looking at the hourly MACD, seeing as the MACD line is above the signal line, meaning that the trend is currently on the up. Looking at the MACD histogram, we can see that the momentum is strong at the moment and we can expect the price to continue growing or maybe at least remaining the same for some time. Moving to the three hourly simple moving averages, for this time interval, the current price is above all of the simple moving averages, which looks bullish and you should watch if the closest SMA, the 20 SMA could remain stable or the price will dip below it with the current price of around 2.65. Important to note is that the price is currently above the 200 SMA, which can play as a strong support. However, breaking it decisively to the downside will signal a potential big move down. Jumping to the three hourly stochastic RSI, the stochastic RSI currently shows no overbought or oversold conditions, but the percent %K line is over the percent %D line, which means the current trend is to the upside. Moving to the three hourly MACD, the MACD line is below the signal line, which shows that the current trend is on the downside. The momentum is currently indecisive, according to the MACD histogram. This means you should wait and see if the MACD line will cross the signal line, which will be bullish, due to the expected shifting momentum. Moving to the daily simple moving averages, at the moment, the price is between the 20 and the 200 SMA. If the price bounces off the 20 SMA which is currently at 2.57 it could be seen as a support and the 200 SMA that is at 2.71 could be perceived as a resistance to the upside. If there were to be a break either way, it means that there could be a continuous move in that direction. Important to note is that the price is currently below the 200 SMA, which is can play as a strong resistance. However, breaking it decisively to the upside will signal a potential big move up. Looking at the daily stochastic RSI, both the percent %K and percent %D lines are located in the higher region. This means that the price is high due to overbuying and a change in the trend, or at least some kind of consolidation, can be expected. Nevertheless, the K line has yet to cross the D line, so it's recommended that you wait and see if the trend does in fact go down. Looking at the daily MACD, seeing as the MACD line is above the signal line, meaning that the trend is currently on the up. As we can see from the MACD histogram, the momentum is indecisive at this moment. This means that we can expect for the price to remain the same for some time and you should wait and for the MACD line to cross the signal line. This will mean it's bearish. In general, the larger time frames have a greater impact on the price, so please remember that when we display different time frames with different indicators. And also the shorter time frames are only representative for the short term trading. Thanks for watching and know that every few hours new videos are uploaded analyzing different cryptocurrencies, so be sure to hit subscribe and not miss out. If you have any questions, leave a comment below and we'll get back to you ASAP. Also, keep in mind that you should make your own investment decisions as cryptocurrency trading is very risky and these daily videos are only an overview of trends and are a purely technical analysis without considering the fundamentals. See you next time. See you next time.